Motorola is focused on providing our customers with wireless agility. One of the ways we accomplish that is designing our products to be easy to deploy. What I want to share with you today in this video are some tips on deploying P2P800, a licensed microwave product. What I want to talk about really are the things that you need to pay attention to to be successful and have a good deployment of our radio. And the first thing is terminating the IF cable. What I have here is a piece of uh, CNT400. This is the IF cable that goes between our compact modem unit and the ODU. I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step instructions of how to put the connector on here. While it does seem very simple to do, uh, you need to have the proper tools and follow the uh, instructions in a step-by-step -step fashion and you'll have a successful installation every time. First, you need to have a clean cut on the end of the cable. This can be accomplished by using our cable cutting tool. These are available at Home Depot in the uh, plumbing section. First you take and you want to cut and not apply a lot of pressure and use the sharpness of the blade to cut it. So a few turns around the cable and it will slice right through the, the coax and provide a very clean edge on this. You've got a flat, clean edge. There's no burrs, there's no residue uh, left on here. The second step is to use the cable strip tool. And what this will do is this will strip back the outer jacket of the cable and will do it to the exact depth that's required so it will mate up with the connector. So simply put it on, continue to turn it until it spins freely. At that point, remove it. You can see that the outer jacket has been removed uh, the exact amount of distance that's required. Next step is to take the ferrule that comes with the uh, connector itself and slide it over the braid. Once that's been put on there, you want to fold the braid backwards over the ferrule. This is what's going to keep the connector on the end of the cable once we've crimped it on. So fold the braid back. Now what we've got is the uh, center insulation. This needs to be removed. Again, you can take your uh, cutting tool and use the sharp blade and make a cut right above where the outer uh, jacket and braid stops. At this point, you can then spin it once and kind of pull the uh, insulation off. So now we removed it. Now we're exposing the center conductor. The center conductor itself uh, needs to have the end uh, chamfer to remove any burrs that are on there. So I'm going to take my file and just go around removing any burrs right on the end of the cable. Get a nice bevel. It's even and uniform all the way around. There. Again, inspecting it, making sure there's no loose uh, braid touching the center conductor that's very clean between the center conductor and the outer jacket. At this point, you're going to take your tube of silicone grease that comes with the connector, open it up, and what we want to do is we want to apply a little bit of grease onto the actual braid itself. And what this will do is this will help lubricate it as we push it into the connector. Also, if you look inside the connector, there's a uh, O-ring gasket. This uh, grease helps ensure a waterproof seal so no moisture can get up into your connector. So I'll take and just dab on a little bit of the silicone grease onto the braid. Make sure it's uniform all the way around. Again, this will help slide that connector on, provide that waterproof seal. So just over the braided part and uh, slide onto the jacket. At this point, you're ready to actually push the connector on. Lining everything up, and pushing it until it stops. You can feel it is firmly on the end of the cable. At this point, we'll take our crimp tool, open it up all the way over the back side of the uh, cable, over the back of the connector. And it's a single crimp until it stops. Open it up. And now you've successfully terminated RIF cable for PTP 800 licensed microwave radio.